Let's now have a look on how energy demands are implemented in osmosis. As indicated at the beginning of this module, the actual demand people have is for a certain service, example given, lightning. However, for the energy system planning, it is important to translate this demand for services to a demand for energy carriers. These demands and their temporal profiles are then aggregated to sectoral demands with average profiles. Of course, the forecasts of demands are ha have a significant uncertainty, but this can be analyzed by creating different scenarios. Well-known examples of scenarios in the energy field are the ones by the International Energy Agency, IEA, shown above. They are based on different assumptions for economic growth and policy development. Here shown we have scenarios that assume no new policies, one with new policies, and one that describes a pathway to keep the temperature increase due to climate change below 2 degrees Celsius. In osmosis, we have two ways to represent demands. The simpler one is to represent a demand on an annual base. The model can then decide when to satisfy this demand. To implement such a flexible demand, the parameter accumulated annual demand is used. However, Many demands, like for example the electricity demand, occur at a specific time. This can be considered by entering the demand by using the parameters specified annual demand and specified demand profile. In the former, the annual demand is entered. In the later, it is entered what share of the annual demand is consumed in which time slice. To test if our demands are entered correctly before defining any technologies and also to prevent non-feasible solutions during the modeling process, it is recommendable to define a so-called backstop technology for every demand considered. Those technologies are characterized by very high cost, but they are only producing fuel for which we have defined a demand. Due to the high cost, the technology will only be selected by the model if no other technology can be chosen. This can happen either when the model is too constrained or when the model is not set up correctly. Here we see schematically how a backstop technology and one demand can be modeled and which parameter need to be defined. Concluding, I would like to make some remarks on the importance of energy demand modeling. From the previous slides in the model, we show, should remember that the demand is the starting point for every model in osmosis. However, the demand forecasting needs to be done very carefully and will always contain uncertainties. Therefore, it is important to analyze sets of scenarios to see the impacts of certain assumptions on our outcome.